In today's video, I'm going to talk about the Pyramid of Precision. Hi, I'm Christopher Paul Jones, the breakthrough expert. Now, so often when people have a phobia, they go, oh, I have a fear of flying or a fear of heights. Like that's one thing. That's one thing equaling the phobia. But let me give you an example. For most people, there's different levels to that phobia, to a place where it's most scary, to almost maybe not at all. So for the fear of heights, it might be standing on a tree stump, for example, might be a naught to a one versus standing on the top of the Eiffel Tower, maybe a 10, you know, maybe the most scary. With flying, you know, maybe for a lot of people, the landing part is the safest because they know it's nearly over. Some it's the other way around. Uh, but the takeoff is the worst, for example. So what I'd like you to do is think about your phobia. Think about seven different instances of your phobia and start with the least scary. When would it be the safest? When is it the least scary? So with heights, for example, as I said, maybe an inch ledge. And when is it the most? And what I want you to do is then pick five in between that, five different elements that go up in scale. So with heights, maybe it's a one-story building to a two-story building to a three-story building. With flying, as I say, maybe takeoff, landing, when it's cruising, when the seatbelt sign comes on for a lot of people, different elements like that. And just think and rank them out of 10. And then what I want you to do is pick the least scary and place that at the bottom, and then the next scary, and then go up and up and up until you get to the most fearful and then you have a pyramid of precision now there's two things you do from this point one is notice what is the difference between something say you did a, a one or a naught and a two and a three what is the difference in your beliefs and your feelings and your thoughts obviously people say well size but what does it what do you make that mean what goes on for you when you think about the difference but going beyond that for a second once you've ranked them and you can go right this is my least scary this is my most you can then have an approach. You can go, all right, let me start with a small thing. Let me try some of these techniques. Let me practice some of Chris's stuff on the first level. Okay, I feel better. Now I can go to level two and level three and level four till you get to level seven. Just try that at home. Let me know how you get on. Please leave a comment below. And as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, I'm Christopher Paul Jones.